All right, so in this problem, we have a series of numbers, and we want to know what the next number in our series will be. So let's take a look at our first transition. From 2 to 6, it seems like we are adding 4. From 6 to 3, we are subtracting 3. From 3 to 9, we are adding 6. And from 9 to 6, we are subtracting 3 again. All right, so if we try to catch on to a pattern, we are switching off between addition and subtraction. And our addition keeps growing by 2. And because our last transition was subtraction, our next transition will be addition. And instead of plus 6, we are going to do plus 8. We're going to add 8 because our addition grows by 2. Now if we do this, we have 6 plus 8, which will give us 14. And if we take a look at our answers, 14 does not show up in our answers. Therefore, this means that this pattern is incorrect and we have to see if there is a different method. So let's erase what we did here and try to figure out a different pattern that exists. So if we take a look, it seems like from 2 to 6, we can also be multiplying by 3. And from 6 to 3, we are subtracting by 3. Between 3 to 9, we are multiplying by 3. And from 9 to 6, we are subtracting by 3. Now this also seems to be a consistent pattern. And if we continue here, instead of um, subtracting 3, this was our last transition, our next transition will be to multiply by 3. Now if we do 6 times 3, we get 18. And this does show up in our answers. And therefore, is relevant to our pattern and will be our final answer.